So when I volunteered at TIFF back in 2013, there was a film playing that I'd never gotten to see when I was there or afterwards. And I recently uh, found this film playing on Tubi and I was very excited because this was a film that I always have had in mind since 10 years ago. And um, was really glad that I got to uh, watch it on Tubi. This film is called Empire of Dirt. This is a Canadian film. This was uh, shot in Innisfil, which is north of Toronto, close to Barrie, and um, a few other towns and cities around that Innisfil area and Innisfil County. And uh, this is about First Nations. This is a First Nation family kind of film. It's a drama, and it follows this... Um, this uh, basically single mother who's raising a daughter. The daughter's name is Pika, and I'm blanking on the mom's name right now, but she's the lead character. She's a single mom raising this daughter, you know, struggling for work, trying to make ends meet kind of thing. And um, she's basically kind of forced to go move back home with her own mother. It's an independent film. I love my independent cinema. So, um, and it's definitely like a good family drama character study kind of thing. And um, every member of this, you know, three generation family uh, is really struggling with with um, a lot of their past because the the single mom, the main girl, she basically was kicked out of her house once she got pregnant at 16 years old and uh, she had to have her daughter Pika basically on her own. Pika is now a teenager. She's always getting into the wrong crowd. Uh, close to the beginning of the film, she has uh, basically an accident involving drugs where this punk kid, you know, was hanging out with her and gave her inhalants from paint cans or something like that. And she ended up in the hospital. And then this is where this, the single mom moves with Pika up to um, go live with her mom. And then um, a lot of past events are brought up. Uh, she runs into an old flame of hers, an ex of hers, basically, which we guess is the father of Pika, but has never been in Pika's life. So Pika is basically discovering these new things that, you know, like a, a long-lost father and her mom that she's never barely met, unless she was like a baby when she met her. And all these new experiences and new uh, revelations that are coming to into this teen girl, um, you know... At, all at once kind of thing and it's it's really impactful when you start to think about it like meeting somebody for the first time who's a complete stranger but ends up being your father and like your grandmother and uh figuring things out about you know your mom as a teenager which you never knew like your mom's past who she was involved with way back when um all these things start to kind of unwind at the same time uh she runs into this um old friend of hers too who's played by uh i think his name is jordan prentice um he's a little person and he's been in a few canadian films that i uh uh recall anyways uh luke kirby is also in this film he's a canadian actor i recognize him from take this waltz which was also a canadian film directed by sarah polly and i really like the um the the setting of this film taking place in basically the GTA, the Greater Toronto Area, uh, because it it it's familiar to me. Like it's pretty close to home. I'm from Southern Ontario, and um, just the whole setting and the whole environment of everything is very um, familiar to me. They definitely throw in a lot of First Nation um, culture into the movie, which is great. Uh, so if you are familiar with First Nation or First Nation yourself, uh, you'll definitely. Um, we get more of a vibe for this film as well because uh, they definitely throw in the culture in there a lot. First Nation, for anybody who doesn't know, is basically Canada's Native American, so Native Canadian, you could say, as well. It's, like I said, it's it's a great low-budget independent uh, film that unfortunately didn't get as much attention as it deserves. Uh, obviously, I'm late to the game with it because this came out in 2013, and... Uh, but the, the director and the, the writer especially, because this isn't directed by the same person who wrote the film, um, they both did a great job with it, but the writing especially, and the, the deep personal story of um, basically a lost and, and uh, divided family coming together and rediscovering each other is really, really neat, especially three generations in the same family, kind of. They really give attention to each 
individual too, like the teen daughter, the single mother, and the mother of the single daughter, the grandmother. They give a good amount of screen time and uh, enough depth to, towards each to, um, to really merit their characters. And uh, you really feel for all three of them by the end of the film and their you know, ups and downs and pains and struggles and uh, truth to life, basically. Um, so, so it was really, really well done. It was touching. It was really well acted. Um, it's everything that an independent film should be, and I definitely recommend checking it out on Tubi. And it's out on DVD and Blu-ray now, which I do plan on getting. I really had a good time with it, and better late than never, pretty much. So that's uh, Empire of Dirt. Uh, go check it out on Tubi, like I said, uh, since it's streaming for free. And subscribe to Morgan Film Fan if you like to listen to my voice. Or if you like my film reviews, I'll be back with more soon, so stay tuned for those. Check out what's on the channel already. Stay tuned for what's coming. Until next review, have a good one. Take care and cheers.